Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, my name remains Ayobami Obundairo. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So guys, yippee, tomorrow I'll be done with my exam for the first year. Yay, 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 yay. So that means the first academic year, academic session is done. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm I'm now the boss, now the senior. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. So sorry about that. Don't mind me. So today I will be talking about letter of introduction and intent. Some people call it letter of introduction. Why some people call it letter of intent? But for me, I call it letter of introduction and intent. Like it is one document for me. But some other people have it to they call it to another. So either way you call it or if you have it as a single document, the main reason why you want to attach or you want to have this kind of document for your visa application process is just to like introduce yourself, like write a summary, have a summary of all your documents. You know you will not be there when the embassy reviewers are going through your application and trying to make their judgment. So this particular uh, document is just for them to have an overview, it's just for you to speak and um, explain yourself, do a summary of everything you have. So in case you have any discrepancy in uh, probably names, pro um, the summary of your proof of font, and all other things, this is a this is a particular place to actually highlight them. So let's say you are using a sponsor that does not bear the same surname as you. This is a particular place you want to you want to summarize it. Let's say your accommodation, you couldn't get a permanent accommodation. You got probably a temporary accommodation. Yes, this is the right place to have it. Why I mention accommodation is just because I know some people, it's so difficult for them to get permanent accommodation, like to get this uh, statement from the house owners. A lot of house owners will want you to pay, but since you've not gotten your visa, visa application approved, so I personally don't advise you pay ahead, except the person is verified from school because we have a lot of scams also out there. They can actually collect your money and you don't get to meet them. So you, it's advisable that you get a temporary accommodation, probably about 30 days hotel reservation or something. So in this letter of introduction and intent, you want to show, you want to explain to the embassy and inform them that okay it's because you are having difficulties getting accommodation because you are not yet in Italy so most of the house owners have refused to give you a letter um, house contract because you are not in Italy so that's why you got this particular you you are providing a temporary accommodation to us. as soon as you arrive in Italy you'll be able to do all this so so many things you can put in into your your letter of introduction or letter of intent as you may call it however as i said earlier i call it a letter of introduction and letter of intent so right now we'll go into it i have my own document the one i submitted so i'll be sharing the template as a guide for you to follow know that this is not the compulsory method or this is the only method i don't work in the embassy so i really don't know but here is just a template to guide you in preparing yours so sit back get your pen so that you can take some notes i'll see you later so letter of introduction and intent it's a formal letter so i needed to write my address the address of the embassy then letter of introduction and intent some people separate these two like some might say letter of introduction separate and letter of intent separate i don't know the difference between the two i made them one so that's why i wrote letter of introduction and intent so i started with this it is with great pleasure i submit my application and supporting document for a study visa to italy to study a two years master's degree program so i wrote the course of study uh, the university that i'm going to also the duration 
of the program and the title okay it's a master's degree program if yours is bsc if yours is bachelor's you can you should include that so and also i have a scholarship that has offered me a full scholarship so in italy once you have accommodation and tuition fee waiver it is a full scholarship you don't have to have um get stipend before the the target full scholarship accommodation and tuition waiver full scholarship so that covers my full tuition and accommodation so if you have a scholarship also even if it is partial just write it that you have a scholarship that covers and write what it covers if yours is just the tuition if it's just a tuition waiver write it there writer has offered you a scholarship that covers your full tuition so i proceeded okay about my financial support i'll be receiving financial support from my father as my main sponsor based on my previous video on letter of sponsorship if you have not watched it you can go back to watch it also so as my main sponsor mr i wrote his name to cover my feeding the list i lay what i listed here also in conjunction with what i what i pointed out it will be covering so and my uncle mr the same son name uncle so we sponsor my traveling expenses blah 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 so in case let's say maybe you have different son name if your uncle has a different son name from yours you can also write a little story or a little thing about about the discrepancies maybe it's um cause of marriage or something just put a little description why there is difference yeah so please find below a breakdown of my financial support so what i did differently was i created a short a very small sum summary table of my budgetary sum so estimated average cost for 12 months yours can be different you can you should might use 24 months but i used 12 months here you get just so to show that okay these the fees are annual annual payments you get so university fees and contributions 1000 euros single room accommodation i wrote the value of of the accommodation i have you know it's scholarship so but i wrote the value here the residence permit tax insurance blah blah i wrote the value living expenses you know living expenses my bus ticket if you have not watched my video on budgetary sum you can go back to watch it i highlighted what these living expenses mean so i calculated all this then the total was six thousand four four twelve point twenty three euros so i converted it to naira based on the official euro rate as at that time so i wrote the equivalent in naira which happened to be three million so then on this right side i wrote student funding for 12 months so the value of my scholarship I converted it to cash that is you know I have university tuition fees so this tuition fees I converted it to cash and accommodation fees also I included it so the cost for because I had a language uh, was it called that's why it seems this was this there is a difference i have language scholarship also language course so i converted like i wrote the word of the scholarship really here personal fund stock i wrote it here family fund the total support i'm getting from family i also have it here all in euros all converted so at the base i have the total so I know some people might want to ask why I wrote 12 months instead of 24 months because my program is two years. It's obvious from here that okay, if you multiply this by two, this will take care of it. It will still take care of it. However, my 
family fund still shows that okay these people are pensioners and they receive pension year in year out on monthly basis so obviously the second year will still this is not the fixed amount um, i have a sponsorship I hope you under you you understand what I'm trying to say here. So just have a summary table. You understand? Let it be probably it might even be the first thing they will see or something. So at first glance, the P reviewer can confirm that you have your proof of funds already to show that okay, it can cover for your expenses. It was one of our senior colleagues that gave me this this tip that I included. So another thing now I went to why I chose to study management engineering at the University of Salento. This is an excerpt from my motivational letter that I used for the scholarship application. So what why I wrote why I wrote this particular part is just to show that okay I am academically sound. And secondly, this this particular part I wrote that um I have leadership skills, listed some of my skills also. And I said it gave me the operations and product manager portfolio. So with this kind of uh, idea now, it shows that I'm trying to sell to them that okay, I have something I'm going back to do in Nigeria. I have something I have to go back for. So that's why I'm here to. I'm just here to study so that it will help me in the role and tasks that I've been assigned to in the new venture. So, and I wrote, you know about the fourth industrial revolution so you really want to write on um, english some attractive things you get to sell yourself so and i wrote it to expose me to other technologies on my management and networking skills blah 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 process technology to optimize the name of the project processes and operations so I went ahead also to write about a little bit about Italy and the University of Salento. You get so, and I wrote after completing my masters, I will return to my country to join the name of the distinct team to improve the business with technological skills acquired. So all this. So I am convinced that de that detailed information and relevant documents have been provided. So you highlight that you provided the necessary document to prove everything you said so contact me via my telephone number email address thanks so much yours faithfully then signature will be here my name passport number so that's all about letter of introduction and intent So yeah, that's all that about letter of introduction and intent. I think with these few points of mind, I've been able to convince and not to confuse you that. <laughs> but really, I believe that I've been able to share some wonderful information right now. So I believe you can now write uh, your own, prepare your own letter of introduction and intent all by yourself. I'll show you a link in the description also. This is um, a Google Drive that has so many templates of letter of introduction and intent. So you can also compare, share ideas and get some other things. This is courtesy to the Go Italia group. So if you want more resourceful information and you're traveling to Italy, subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will be releasing so many videos also to give you the appropriate information that you require. Also hit the notification bell button because whenever I post, you need to be alerted and you need to know about it. Goodbye for now. See you around. Ciao.